WPF Docking Control enables you to easily build applications with dockable window interfaces similar to the UI found in Microsoft Visual Studio. The docking control is flexible and highly customizable, allowing users to dock panels in the application window client area and arrange them horizontally, vertically, or in the cascading format. Compared to the DevExpress docking solution for WinForms, the DX docking control supports instant conversion of dockable panels to tabbed MDI items and vice versa. In this video, we'll look at how to create a simple MDI interface and demonstrate how the control's functionality differs from that of its WinForms counterpart. So let's get started. I'll start with a new WPF application project. From the toolbox, I expand the DevExpress navigation group and drag and drop a new dock layout manager onto the window. I'll resize it so it fills the entire available client area. Let's switch to the XAML editor. Here you can see that the control has been automatically populated with two sample layout panels. I'll leave these as is and proceed to run the application to demonstrate the default behavior of the control. Here you can see both panels side by side. I can move them around, dock them in different positions, pin them, and close them. Let's return to Visual Studio to create the MDI interface. Within the Layout Group tag, I'll create a new document group. I'll specify its name and width properties accordingly. I'll then paste the XAML code for two document panels that contain a rich text box control. Let's run the application again. You can see that by default, the document group is treated as another static panel. The documents are represented as tabs. I can, however, detach a document container and dock it to a different location. Obviously, this means that we don't have an MDI interface yet. This is as easy as setting a single property for the document group. By setting the MDI style property to MDI, the documents will be free floating instead of being locked in as tabs. We can see that by running the application one last time. I can move around and dock the other layout panels while maintaining the workspace for the MDI windows. Now let's quickly switch over to a sample WinForms project to see how this would have been accomplished. So here, I have a toolbar with a new button that'll create new document tabs at runtime. I say tabs because in our WinForms product, there are separate controls for each purpose. There is the standard dock manager. Then there is the extra tabbed MDI manager. The latter supports tabbed as well as floating MDI documents. So let's drop one to the form. I'll add the necessary code to the button click event and run the application. I can create new tabbed items. However, it's not as easy to convert them to dock manager panels to give them the standard docking functionality due to the fact that there are two separate controls. In the WPF application, simply by setting the MDI style property to tabbed, the MDI documents are displayed as tabs and can be moved around and docked within the window area. For more information, please refer to the DX Docking documentation on the web. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.